Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I am sitting on my bedroom floor because I have a whole bunch of stuff spread around me that I have picked up for our upcoming vacation. I've actually filmed a couple different vacation videos. We had an original plan for a trip that we had to cancel, so we ended up taking making a backup trip. I had shared a, a vacation haul about a month ago, and all of that stuff still pertains to this trip, this new trip that we're taking, but then I also got some other stuff to go for this trip that are more specific and then a couple things that would go for this vacation or even some of them I can use at home or any future trip really. So I thought I would share another vacation haul with you guys. So if you want to see what I have picked up for our trip, then stay tuned. Not going in any particular order. I actually wanted a new toiletry bag. Actually, I got two different toiletry bags because the one that I had, the bad thing about organizing, whether it's for a vacation or even just around your house, if you have a container that is too big and open with no divisions in it, then everything just kind of gets lumped in together. On the other side of the coin, if you get something that has a lot of little individual dividers, then sometimes things don't fit. So that was the problem that I was having with my old toiletry bag. I still like it, but I was finding that I was not being able to fit everything in it. And also I was wasting like half the bag because there was like little compartments that my stuff didn't fit in. So I was on the search for a new toiletry bag slash bags. And I'm also somebody who tends to take full-size items of things a lot. Not all the time, but I don't know. I have this fear of like going on vacation and running out of something. It's not like where I'm ever going doesn't have stores. But I don't want to have to go to the store and pick things up when I'm on vacation. So I try to bring more than I think I'll need. And a lot of times that means full-size bottles. And I actually found this travel bag. I had never seen anything like this before. Maybe I'm the last one to like ever not know this. But basically it is a round bag that has a drawstring top that opens up and will hold tons of full-size items and there's little um like elastic pockets around the outside so if you want to put things in those you can put smaller things in those or bigger things on the outside and smaller things in the middle but when you get there the neat thing is you just kind of i have to do this on the ground. So you're not gonna be able to see for a minute. But once you get to wherever you're going, you kind of crunch down, roll down the top, leave it like this. You can sit it on the vanity of the hotel and everything is right here and still contained, um, but doesn't take up that much space. I think this thing is amazing. There is so much in here. I've got razors, I've got two refills. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six full-size bottles, including a dry shampoo. And then when I am ready to pack it up, now the dry shampoo is a little tall. It does almost kind of stick out a little bit, but not so much that it's gonna fall out. I'll drawstring it closed and I could tie it too if I wanted to. But drawstring together like this, carry it like that. So I'm really excited to have this. And I think this would also make a great gift, especially for a tween, a teenager, or a college student going back and forth from dorm bathrooms or shared housing. This would be perfect. So I, I got that and I got the toiletry bag to match. I haven't even taken the tag off yet, but I, I actually have started packing. Now there is another variation of this that's a little bit bigger uh, that I do have on the way. So I may end up, I did order it and I may end up switching things out to that one. It just depends, but it's got a handle on it. It's got the zipper on the other side. It's got the same little cute flamingo pattern. And as I'm filming this, we're leaving in about two weeks, so I've already started packing some things that I've got extras of. But this one hangs like that. It's got this little pouch here and then two really large pouches. Speaking of beauty and taking care of yourself and getting ready at the hotel, I am very minimal when it comes to the jewelry that I take on vacation. I don't like to take anything that is too expensive. I don't like to take things that are uncomfortable or that don't match because I don't want to take a bunch of different things of jewelry. So I usually take one set of earrings and I wear them the entire trip. So if you guys have watched my videos for a while, you probably have seen these earrings. These are the Suzanne Huggy Hoops from Ana Luisa. I have worked with them before. They're actually partnering with me on this video and I wear these all the time. So anytime I get a chance to pick up more pieces from them, I'm always anxious to because I love them myself. I also have given quite a few of their pieces to my girls because they have such high quality pieces and they start at a really low price for such a high quality piece. So I did pick up a few pieces. Like I said, these are the ones I'm gonna be taking on vacation because they're gonna match every outfit. They're really comfortable. I can even sleep in these. So I love these, I wear them all the time. I did pick up a few pieces 
for my oldest daughter. I don't know yet if it's gonna be for Christmas, for her birthday, or maybe I might split these up and like give some of them for Christmas, some of her birthday. I don't know, I guess you guys will find out when you guys watch my Christmas gift guide series. It comes out every single year in November. I always share what I got the girls for their Christmas presents and their stocking stuffers. So you'll find out in that video what I end up giving her. But at some point, I will give her these. These are gold huggy hoops, a lot like mine, but they have this little chain detail, which makes them just a little bit more trendy, a little bit more edgy, maybe a little bit more youthful. Not that I would say you couldn't wear them if you were older, but I definitely think they're more of a youthful style. So I think she'll like those. She's really into kind of edgy, different earrings. So I think she'll love those. And I also, I think it's the first time I've ever gotten a necklace or necklaces from Ana Luisa. I usually tend to get their earrings because they just have such cute styles. But again, for my oldest, she's really into edgy, kind of different, trendy pieces, but that are also can be timeless. And so I picked this necklace up for her. So it almost looks like little paper clips and it's in the gold tone. I like this little clasp here at the back. So you can put that in the back if you don't want it to show and just have this part be the front or you can turn it this way and use the clasp as part of the design. So I think that's really neat. Definitely a good layering piece. I think she'll love that. Kind of along the same lines, but a little bit of a smaller size. I picked up this necklace for her. As you can see, the links are a lot smaller, a little bit more dainty, a little bit more understated. So I got that for her and I think she will love it. And that's one thing I love about Ana Luisa is they have pieces that are a little bit more trendy, a little bit more cutting edge, a little bit more different. And then they have classic pieces like hoops and studs and so many different types of rings and bracelets and earrings and necklaces. So they have a, an amazing variety on their website. They're having a sale right now. And one thing you can feel good about with Ana Luisa, they offset 100% of their carbon emissions from start to finish for making their jewelry. So that is something that you can feel great about. And now is the perfect time to be shopping for gifts. Like I said, I've already, I'm almost actually done with my Christmas shopping. I like to shop all year long, um, but it's a great time when they have a sale to check out their website and find some pieces for yourself and for the people in your life. I've given things from them to to my 11 year old and now my 17 year old and myself. So all of us, even though we are very different in age and tastes, we still can all find pieces that we love from Ana Luisa. So I highly recommend you guys check them out with the link below to take advantage of the sale. Those are the earrings I'm planning on wearing. Those are the pieces that I picked up for potential Christmas birthday presents and more beauty items. Um, normally we go to Disney. We go to Disney every year. I've gone to Disney every year since I was nine. And if you have stayed at a Disney hotel, as far as I know, all of the Disney hotels I've ever stayed at have where the sink vanity area is outside of the shower or toilet room. So people can be showering or using the bathroom while other people are out kind of in the room area, using the mirror, getting ready, brushing your teeth, putting your makeup on, all that stuff. Well, the hotel we're gonna be staying at now is different where the mirror to get ready is in the bathroom. And so with two girls that wear makeup and then my youngest daughter who you know has to do her little skincare routine and stuff, I didn't want to be in the bathroom putting on makeup when somebody was trying to take a shower, making it all hot. I didn't want to have to be in there with that weird, harsh bathroom lighting trying to get ready. So I wanted to get a makeup mirror that would be good for travel. I have a lighted mirror here at home that I use every single day that stays in my vanity that I put makeup on with, I put my contacts in with, and I wanted something similar for travel. And so of course I went to Amazon, same place those uh, toiletry bags came from. And I found this Ease Hold Travel Lighted Makeup Mirror. Now you don't have to travel with it, but it is good for travel because it's so slim and it can run on battery or you can use the enclosed plug and you gotta use your own like uh, block to use electricity. So I love that about it and I think it's amazing. And I did turn it on and it is super bright. It's got a couple different magnification options. So you've got five times magnification, two times, you've got your regular mirror here and a regular mirror here. And it actually came with a little round mirror that I didn't stick on there because I don't think I need it. But I love this. I'm actually tempted to use this at home instead of the one that I've already been using for years. So I don't know, I love it. It's even got a little tray down here. So when I take my earrings out at night, I can put them in this little tray and not lose them and know exactly where they are the next day. Super excited about this. I will actually insert a little bit of footage of it turned on because it's, for the price, it is really nice. This would make an amazing gift. It's definitely gonna show up on my gift suggestions, gift suggestions from Amazon video that I've started doing. I did one last year, I'll do one again this year. Basically, you just push this little button and it turns on and it looks like something you'd get at like sharper image or something. Like it is really, really nice. You can actually hold the button down and adjust the brightness of the lights depending on whether or not you want a whole lot of light or just a little bit. So I am super impressed with this. 
and like I said if I had more women in my life that would actually need this I would buy it for everybody because I think it is amazing it was around $30 which is insane and there's usually like when I bought mine there was a 10% off coupon so I made it an even better deal so love this super excited to have that for travel and also whenever I decide to use it maybe I'll use it at home instead of the one that I already have another beauty item that I picked up that I didn't really think I needed but I thought well I had a theory about straightening my hair I have I've always used a one inch flat iron because I wanted it to be small enough to get to the root of my hair but then it takes forever because I have so much hair. So I thought, well, just for fun, I'm gonna get a wide flat iron just to see if I can still get just as close to the root and get all the kind of little waves I have up here out, but also have the speed and efficiency of a wider flat iron. And where, why have I not been doing this my whole life? I have wasted who knows how many hours of my life using a one inch flat iron thinking I needed to when all I needed to do was just get a two, a two inch and it would have been fine. So this is the Remington two inch flat iron. I got this at Target because Amazon for some reason didn't have it. It works really, really well. It gets really, really hot and I love it. So I am definitely keeping that and giving my one inch a break because I can get my hair done so much faster with this. And it's gonna be perfect for travel because I'm not the type of person that gets super fancy on vacation. I mean, I'll do my makeup and stuff. My hair is really high maintenance. It's half wavy, half straight. It's really, really thick. And so going where we're going, it's gonna be kind of in a constant state of wet or humidity and different types of things. So I thought, well, I don't wanna go around looking like a lion all the time, but I don't wanna spend a lot of time doing my hair. This is perfect. So I can let it air dry at night when I take a shower and then in the morning I use this and it shaved like 10 minutes off my hair routine and I love it. So I'm glad to have that. So probably the weirdest, actually kind of I got two kind of really weird things that I don't think I, I never would have thought that I would be purchasing, especially for vacation. The first thing is an electric hot plate. To me, hot plates sound like the kind of thing that like somebody does in like a no-tell motel where they're like in there living for months on end and like making, you know, warming up cups of soup. I don't know, it's just my weird imagination. But this is gonna be a different type of vacation for us. We're gonna have a little bit more downtime, probably a lot more downtime than usual. We're not gonna be going to a bunch of, well, I say we're not going to, we probably aren't gonna be going to a lot of specific restaurants every day where we have reservations like we do when we go to Disney. We're gonna have the time to just be like, whatever, you know, we go wherever we want. And um, the girls especially are obsessed with oatmeal. They have it at least once a day, sometimes twice. And I really wanted to be able to still make that for them. And they don't have a microwave in the hotel room. And I thought, well, I will get a hot plate and I'll bring a pan from home. I'll bring our oatmeal from home. But that way in the hotel, I can make them oatmeal we can warm up you know whatever we want to warm up on a hot plate and still be able to have some of those things that they like to eat at home at the hotel so going along the same lines as that i wanted to have um some some cups and bowls and plates and spoons and things to use in the hotel and instead of getting disposables i thought i would get these little bpa free ones from target they're still in the bag i will take them out i've already washed them and was waiting to film this video so I could pack them. But I got little bowls for everybody. So whether we're having cereal in the hotel or the girls are having their oatmeal, they have a bowl for everybody. Also have plates for everybody in case we want to have a sandwich or something. And then this entire bag is matching cutlery. So forks, spoons, knives. So if we're making a sandwich or the girls are having oatmeal or whatever, we've got cutlery for that. And then I also have because I don't like to drink out of the hotel cups, like the glass ones, I never have. And they never give you enough paper ones. You always have to keep calling, can I have more cups? Can I have more cups? So I just bought this set of plastic cups. I'm gonna bring a little thing of dish detergent. We can just rinse them out in the sink, not put them in the sink, but like soap, swish around. You know, I'm not putting this in the bathroom sink. Um, but that way we can wash them out in the hotel room. Everybody will have a cup and it won't matter if we run out of paper cups from the hotel or they don't have, you know, glass cups, whatever the situation may be, we have our own. So normally I just bring um, paper cups, which I did pick up some paper cups for the drive down and the drive back because obviously I'm not gonna be able to wash dishes while we're traveling. So I did get paper cups for that purpose, but for the hotel I have plastic BPA free cups and bowls and plates and cutlery for everybody. Speaking of being in the hotel, they also never give you enough laundry bags. I 
I don't know why and I'm always having to ask like can I have more laundry bags so I know that most places still are limited housekeeping um, if at all like you just kind of have to do your own thing um, and I wanted to make sure that I had enough room for our dirty clothes because obviously we take them off we put them in the laundry bags and then I just put the laundry bags in a suitcase and bring them home and they're already kind of in laundry bags when I get home. So I got three of these from Amazon. They came in a set. These are really, really big. They have a drawstring on the top. They have air holes. So, you know, they're going to have ventilation. But as you can see, they're very large. So I'm hoping that three of these will be enough. Also got a tech bag. This is something that we don't, I mean, it's not that you need it. We just, whenever I pack, I'm super organized. And then at the last minute, we get this random bag and just shove all the wires in it for like phones and cameras and chargers and stuff. And I was like, why do we do that? Why don't I just buy a tech bag? So everything will be organized. I made sure to specifically get one that was a bright color so that I could say it's in the blue bag. If I said it was the black bag, my husband would be like, um, all of our luggage is black. So basically with tech bags, you have little pouches for memory cards and things. You usually have little elastics for putting your wires. And then of course you have the big space at the bottom. And this one came with these little Velcro dividers. So we can make this bottom space, whatever we want. So if we want to put chargers on one side or, you know, something else like my husband's got a GoPro this year that we've never had before. So he'll be bringing that. So that's going to involve more chargers and more memory cards. So I thought this was a nice way to keep everything together and organized. And you know, we all need every single wire and charger and dongle and adapter and whatever you need when you travel why not put it all in one nice bag instead of just throwing it in something like we always did so i picked that up from amazon also weirdly from amazon and i don't even know if these work we are going to be doing some things on boats that we've never done before and i mean i've been on a boat but it's always been like a really slow kind of moving boat and I'm not going on like a jet ski, but I don't know if I get seasick because I've never been on a boat fast enough or wavy enough in the ocean to know if I get seasick. Neither have the girls. So I picked up these travel wristbands from Amazon. They're supposed to be these wristbands that basically use your pressure point on the inside of your wrist to keep you from getting seasick. I don't know if they work. They got really good reviews. We're just gonna put these on and wear them before we get on the boat. So I guess I won't know if they don't work unless we do get sick anyway. <laughs> so hopefully that'll be a, a, a purchase that was worthwhile. So I picked those up. Also from Amazon, I got water shoes for the girls. This is my oldest daughter's, my youngest daughter's are downstairs. I don't really know the situation with the beach. I, we, I've never been to this beach and I've only been to a beach once in my entire life for like two hours and that was in Florida. So not knowing really what we're walking into no pun intended i went ahead and got them water shoes just in case it's really shelly or i don't know i just want to be prepared i like to be prepared i mean clearly i try to think of everything that we could need or that might happen so that i'm prepared if it does happen or we do need it um also from amazon i picked up a hat for me i am not a hat person but i figured given that this is a beach vacation even though we don't plan to spend much time on the beach especially during the hottest part of the day i figured i should be prepared and at least bring a hat and i'm not the type of person that's going to wear one of those big ones but i am really really fair and so i thought i should get a hat that is meant to be wet that is water wicking and has a lot of ventilation holes and so this one can be used for water sports it's also supposed to be a really good like exercise if you run type of hat so obviously i don't run anymore i miss it um, but I can't because of my knee and my hip and whatever. Um, but I did pick this up from Amazon and it's pretty cute. I mean, it's not the cutest thing in the world, but it keeps the sun off your face and um, it's gonna be really nice if it does get wet that it'll dry off really quickly. So I thought that was a really good purchase and I picked that up. And the last thing that I got are new flip-flops. I got new, new flip-flops for the girls and then I didn't get mine at the same time. And when I went back to get some just like theirs, they were sold out because it's not flip-flop season anymore. I do have some flip-flops, but they are very, very flat and the sole does not bend at all. So it makes it really hard to walk. And we're gonna be walking a lot, especially around the resort in flip-flops because we're gonna be in and out of the pool, in and out of the ocean, you know, whatever. So obviously I had to have flip-flops. These came from Target. What I liked about these was, if you can see, I mean, they're not an orthotic sandal and they're not the most supportive in the world, but I feel like they are better than the sandal that I had. And they are better than a lot of the ones that I've seen in the store that are just like flat as a pancake because I have a lot of feet problems. 
So if you can see this little arch right here, it's just got a little bit of arch support. It's a lot more flexible on the bottom than the one I had. It's super comfortable. I don't love the pattern. I mean, it's okay. It was the only pattern they had, I believe. Um, so I did get these so that I would have something relatively comfortable and supportive to walk in as I'm going in and around the resort. So that is all the stuff that I picked up for our upcoming vacation. And like I said, pretty much everything I would assume, except for maybe the seasick wristbands, are going to be good for any vacation. So I'm not too worried about the fact that I bought a lot of stuff because it's going to be stuff that I'm going to be able to use in future years, pretty much for any type of trip that we take. So I hope it was helpful. I love watching vacation videos. I love watching other people be excited about going on vacation and where they're going. And so I love to be able to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure if you did, you give this video a thumbs up and leave in the comments for me something that maybe I'm forgetting. Something that you take on vacation that has been invaluable and you have been so glad that you've taken it because you really found that you needed it or it was really useful. If you have anything you want to suggest, make sure you leave that in the comments for me. Also, don't forget to check out the Ana Luisa sale. That link is for you in the description box. I know you guys will love their stuff. And like I said, I wear these earrings almost every single day because they're so comfortable. They're cute. They look good with everything. And I just love them. So make sure you check them out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.